I'm Lise Rosenthal with Teachings from the Tanakh. Our reading this week is from the 62nd chapter of the book of Isaiah. This is, of course, Deutero Isaiah, who is getting B'nai Israel, the children of Israel, ready to return from their exile in Babel. And Isaiah can hardly contain his exuberance and the, the beautiful images that come to his mind when he speaks of Israel redeemed from her exile. He says, her victory emerges resplendent and her triumph like a flaming torch. Nations shall see your victory and every king your majesty. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the palm of your God. Um, and he he just he can't uh, contain himself with how happy he is that things have turned out this way. And he says, for the sake of Zion, I will not be silent. For the sake of Jerusalem, I will not be still. Leman Zion lo echeshe uleman Yerushalayim lo eshkot. Now, like every inspired reading, this has different meanings according to the situation that we find ourselves in. And later on, when B'nai Israel had not quite lived up to uh, what they had promised that they would do if they were redeemed and they needed to be reminded again that they needed to walk in the ways of the Lord, and the prophets would rebuke them. Well, the best thing that you want from a prophet is that he should be quiet and go away and not make you feel guilty. And Isaiah uh, continues to speak to us through the ages for the sake of Zion. I will not be quiet and I will not go away and I will continue to rebuke you. In modern days, uh, as the state of Israel finds herself subject to calumnies and lies by those who wish perhaps that the Nazis had succeeded and that the state of Israel had never been founded, those who love Zion continue to take Isaiah's words to heart and never to miss an opportunity to correct lies with truth and to bring uh, Israel's struggle for existence into the public eye. And so today's Zionists also find inspiration from Isaiah, for the sake of Zion, I will not be still. And as Isaiah would say, Shavuot Tov, have a good week.